everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 best movies of the 90s. Hasta la vista, baby. Hey, wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? Keep the change, you filthy animal. For this list, we're going over the greatest films to be released between the years 1990 and 1999. We are excluding animated films, though. Otherwise, Toy Story would be on here. And there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. So, if you think that there is a movie we are totally bogus for leaving off, don't have a cow, man. Tell us about it in the comments. All right, let's get into it. Number 20, Fight Club. Welcome to Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. The second rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. We're gonna have to break a few rules here and talk about Fight Club. The story of an unnamed protagonist and his friend Tyler Durden as they form the eponymous organization, Fight Club spoke to an entire generation. Despite its title, Fight Club is more about ideas, particularly finding meaning and purpose in a society that seems designed to strip them away from us. I say never be complete. I say stop being perfect. I say let, let's evolve, let the chips fall where they may. Its commentary on consumerism and male identity remain timely today. Plus, it has a ton of quotable lines and plenty of unexpected developments. Fight Club may have come at the tail end of the 90s and on our list, but it still managed to make a big impact among a great decade of film. God damn it, an entire generation pumping gas, waiting tables. Slaves with white collars. Advertising has us chasing cars and clothes. Working jobs we hate so we can buy shit we don't need. Number 19, Boys in the Hood. There were other hood dramas before Boys in the Hood, but it was this movie that helped popularize them. Hold on, hold on. Oh, we got a problem here? Hold on. We got a problem here? The film follows several young black men in Los Angeles as they find themselves caught between the lucrative benefits of a dangerous criminal life and the more difficult pursuit of legitimate education and careers. They can buy the land at a lower price, then they move all the people out, raise the property value, and sell it at a profit. Now what we need to do is we need to keep everything in our neighborhood, everything, black. Black owned with black money. Full of breakout performances from actors like Cuba Gooding Jr. and Ice Cube, Boys in the Hood brought attention not only to its actors and director, John Singleton, but also to the kind of people and communities that they portrayed on screen. Turn your punk ass off! Number 18, Groundhog Day. What if you kept living the same day over and over again? Will you be checking out today, Mr. Connors? I'd say the chance of departure is 80%. 75-80. Groundhog Day sees a sarcastic and cynical news anchor, Phil Connors, trapped in Pennsylvania on the titular day and forced to relive it in a time loop. Phil's repeated loops alternate between comedic, hopeful, and despairing, though he does eventually find peace through helping others, even if they won't remember it. I have been stabbed, shot, poisoned, frozen, hung, electrocuted and burned. Oh, really? And every morning I wake up without a scratch on me, not a dent in the fender, I am an immortal. Groundhog Day is the perfect blend of comedy and hope, with a dash of romance, too. No matter what happens tomorrow, or for the rest of my life, I'm happy now, because I love you. Plus, the film has practically become a synonym for the concept of time loops. Number 17, Goodwill Hunting. Written by and starring Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, Good Will Hunting follows Will, a self-taught genius with anger issues. Will undergoes court-mandated therapy sessions while also struggling with his love life and what to do about his future. Do you like apples? Yeah. yeah. Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? Will's developing bonds with both his love interest and his therapist, played by a top of his game Robin Williams, are absolute magic to watch. It's not your fault. The exploration of his past trauma, as well as his defense mechanisms, is heartbreaking and relatable. Featuring a stellar cast with breakout roles and returning veterans, Goodwill Hunting is an outstanding drama that will make you laugh and cry in equal measure. Sorry. I had to go see about a girl. Will. 
son of a bitch. He stole my life. Number 16, Seven. Seven details the lives of two detectives as they investigate a string of grisly ritualistic crimes themed around the seven deadly sins. It's some kind of friggin' wax sculpture or something. <laughs> a sense of mystery pervades David Fincher's film, as even after the villain is caught, there are plenty more surprises in store. Seven takes a look at the uglier side of humanity, and its grim aesthetic exudes that. But that's the point. We see a deadly sin on every street corner, in every home, and we tolerate it. We tolerate it because it's common. It's, it's trivial. The movie isn't for the faint of heart, yet those with the stomach for it will find an excellent thriller. The murderer is right about one thing. These events have fascinated us for years. Put the gun down. I saw you with the box. What was in the box? Because I envy your normal life. Put the gun down, baby. It seems that envy is my sin. Oh, what's in the box? Number 15, Forrest Gump. Hello. My name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. Do you want a chocolate? Does anyone dislike this movie? Forrest Gump follows the title character during his life across the latter half of the 20th century. His unwitting luck and effect on major events are very endearing, as are his friendships and relationships that he makes along the way. The film has so many unforgettable quotes and scenes, Run, Forrest, run! Not to mention a standout performance by Tom Hanks as Forrest. I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. It's no wonder it won so many awards, including Best Picture at the Oscars. You'd be so proud of him. I am. Still, in our opinion, it wasn't even the best movie that year. Number 14, Saving Private Ryan. Speaking of Tom Hanks, the actor also stars in this incredible Steven Spielberg film. Set during World War II, Saving Private Ryan follows a squad of American soldiers as they search for the titular private his mother's last surviving son. It's not going to be easy finding one particular soldier in the middle of this whole goddamn war. Right, and a needle and a stack of needles. Its graphic and harrowing depiction of war is almost unmatched in cinema. The D-Day landing scene alone would be enough to put it on our list, but the ensemble cast and many great set pieces elevate it even further. Tell her that when you found me, I was here, and I was with the only brothers that I have left, and that there's no way I was going to desert them. I think she'll understand that. It is, quite simply, one of the greatest war movies ever made. <laughs> Number 13, Heat. Al Pacino and Robert De Niro in the same movie is always great, but Heat is so much more than two legendary actors. What do you say I buy you a cup of coffee? Yeah, sure, let's go. De Niro plays the leader of a gang of thieves, whose brazen robberies have him pursued by Pacino's detective. The game of cat and mouse is thrilling, with both parties getting one up on the other. I don't know how to do anything else. Neither do I. I don't much want to either. Neither do I. Along with the top-shelf acting, Heat delivers some of the most intense and frighteningly realistic shootouts around. It's one of the most well-executed thrillers featuring a battle between a lawman and a criminal besides The Dark Knight. It's that good. Now, if you're on me and you gotta move when I move, how do you expect to keep a, a marriage? Well, that's an interesting point. Number 12, The Truman Show. Truman Burbank lives in a sleepy seaside town and has a seemingly perfect life. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Oh, and in case I don't see you, Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. However, it's all a lie. His life has been a carefully orchestrated TV show since the day he was born. He gradually comes to realize this and tries to escape his massive set slash prison. The Truman Show features satire on reality television and entertainment in general that have only become more relevant as time has gone on. However, the film also speaks to deeper themes on truth, rebellion, and the American dream. It was nothing real. You were real. That's what made you so good to watch. Truman's search for truth is one many of us experience in our own lives. 
In case I don't see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Number 11, Boogie Nights. One of the greatest movies of the 90s is set more in the 70s and 80s. Chronicling the career of adult film star Dirk Diggler, as well as his friends and co-workers, Boogie Nights feels like a time capsule of the period and lifestyle it depicts, while also heightening the experience in subtle ways. It's my dream to make a film that is true and right and dramatic. The characters are complex and relatable, the scenes are memorable, and the tone veers between comedic and violent with ease. Hey, don't, don't, don't do that! No, no, no! no, 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 no. While its content is decidedly adult, there are some universal themes at work here that everyone should experience. If nothing else, the soundtrack is a must-listen. Number 10, Jurassic Park. Dr. Grant. My dear Dr. Sattler, welcome to Jurassic Park. There are dinosaur movies, and then there's Jurassic Park. You all know the drill. Dinosaur zoo, visitors need to escape when they run amok. What has science done? I, I don't think you're giving us our due credit. Our scientists have done things which nobody's ever done before. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. The plot's not complex, but it's in the execution that Jurassic Park manages to be one of the finest disaster films ever. The characters are all well-realized and entertaining, so when they're in danger, you actually care. The effects hold up decades later, and the direction helps create perfect tension. The music is iconic and sweeps you off your feet. <laughs> Jurassic Park basically helped everyone realize what paleontologists and kids already knew. Dinosaurs are awesome. Number 9. The Big Lebowski You got the wrong guy. I'm the dude, man. Your name's Lebowski, Lebowski. As tempted as we were to include Fargo, which is also spectacular, another Coen Brothers movie won out. Sometimes a story doesn't need a hero. Sometimes it needs a dude. The dude, to be precise. I'm the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino, if you're not into the whole brevity thing. The Big Lebowski follows the dude and the many colorful characters he encounters as he becomes embroiled in a kidnapping plot. The Big Lebowski is an experience unlike any other, filled with dream sequences, strange characters, and more iconic lines than a quarter of our list put together. This is what happens, Larry! You see what happens, Larry? The Big Lebowski, like the dude himself, abides in our collective consciousness. And we take comfort in that. Take it easy, dude. Oh, yeah. I know that you will. Yeah, well, the dude abides. Number 8. Titanic Titanic is one of the highest grossing and most critically acclaimed movies of all time. Of course it's one of the best 90s movies. In case you weren't alive during the time or were just out of touch, Titanic is a fictionalized account of the real-life sinking of the RMS Titanic. It primarily follows Rose and Jack, two lovers from different social classes who meet and fall in love on the doomed ship's voyage. I'm flying. Jack. It's a disaster movie, a period drama, and a romance film all rolled up into one. This combination, along with James Cameron's Oscar-winning direction, excellent performances, stellar effects, and much more, helped make it one of the biggest movies ever made. Never let go. I will never let go, Jack. I'll never let go. But like the ship itself, the movie isn't unsinkable. Number 7. The Silence of the Lambs FBI trainee Clarice Starling is sent to cannibal psychiatrist Dr. Hannibal Lecter for help in locating Buffalo Bill. The hunt for Bill is fraught with danger, as are the tense and fascinating interviews between Clarice and Hannibal. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. The Silence of the Lambs is among the most intense and influential thrillers ever made, with outstanding performances, great dialogue, unforgettable villains, and suspense and horror around every corner. Amputate a man's leg and he can still feel it tickling. Tell me, Mom, 
When your little girl is on the slab, where will it tickle you? Take this thing back to Baltimore. It's no surprise that director Jonathan Demme's film won the Big Five at the Oscars. Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor, Best Actress, and Best Adapted Screenplay. Like the wines Dr. Lecter favors, the film has aged well, and it's just as captivating today. Number 6. The Matrix Nope, it's not a glitch in The Matrix. This movie really came out in the 90s. The Matrix revolutionized action movies with its jaw-dropping special effects and exceptional fights. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me! But it's also no slouch when it comes to its story. The films look at a world where humans are controlled by machines who have placed them in the titular artificial reality got everyone thinking about our own reality, along with other big questions. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Few movies can get you this pumped, look this cool, and make you think. Even now, watching The Matrix still elicits the same reaction. Whoa. Number 5. Terminator 2 – Judgment Day before James Cameron destroyed box office records with Titanic, he blew everyone away with this unparalleled action movie. Two robot assassins are sent back to the past in the sequel, one to protect John Connor, humanity's future leader, and the other to terminate him. Come with me if you want to live. Everything about this film, from its action scenes to its one-liners to its imagery, is iconic and lands perfectly. T2 is a sequel so good it basically helped popularize sequels, as well as the use of computer effects. Even if action movies are not your thing, you'd have to be more robotic than a Terminator not to feel something for this film. I know now why you cry, but it's something I can never do. Number 4. The Shawshank Redemption Prison can be a grim experience, and The Shawshank Redemption certainly doesn't shy away from that. The film follows Andy Dufresne, a likely innocent inmate during his decades of imprisonment, and the friends and enemies he makes during his incarceration. I'm Andy Dufresne, wife-killing banker. Why'd you do it? I didn't, since you ask. <laughs> you can fit right in. But amid the darkest moments, Andy and the film show that there can still be hope. While audiences slept on it initially, the Shawshank Redemption has gradually become regarded as not just a classic of the 90s, but also one of cinema's greatest. You either get busy living or you get busy dying. And you are not living your best life if you haven't seen Shawshank. I guess it comes down to a simple choice, really. Get busy living or get busy dying. Number 3. Schindler's List Based on real events during the Second World War, Schindler's List depicts the efforts of Oskar Schindler, a German war profiteer, as he attempts to save the lives of Jewish citizens through employing them in his factory. They're not gone. They're here. They're mine! Every day that goes by, I'm losing money. Every worker that is shot costs me money. Schindler's List conveys one of the most awful events in human history with stark yet beautiful filmmaking and powerful performances. As with most media involving the Holocaust, it can be hard to watch, particularly more than once. But the fact that it is based on true events only makes it more worthy of attention. It's Hebrew from the Talmud. It says whoever saves one life saves the world entire. Number 2. Goodfellas As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. There are few gangster movies that are even in the same league as the Godfather films, and Goodfellas is right up there with them. Based on the life of real mob member Henry Hill, Goodfellas is outstanding from top to bottom. The cast is stacked with huge actors who deliver some of their best performances, particularly an Oscar-winning Joe Pesci. I'm funny how? I mean funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you, I make you laugh. The camera work is exceptional, the story is well told, grips you throughout, and the script has iconic line after iconic line. Director Martin Scorsese is at the top of his game with Goodfellas. It's one of the most influential films of the last few decades, and certainly one of the best of the 90s, though not quite our number one. I'm an average nobody. Get to live the rest of my life like a schnook. Okay, we've seen a lot of great movies so far, and honestly, number one could be just about anything. So, I'll give you a quick clue. Does this help? Maybe. 
Anyway, let's wait until after these honorable mentions, and then we will name our top movie of the 90s. The Usual Suspects, a crime thriller with action and great twists. He mentioned Kaiser Soze. Who? After that, my guess is you'll never hear from him again. Home Alone, nothing says Christmas like protecting your home from burglars. You guys give up or you're thirsty for more? Thelma and Louise. They haven't made a feminist road trip movie to top this one. Well, you get what you settle for. I left him a note. <laughs> I left him stuff to microwave. The Sixth Sense. M. Night Shyamalan came out swinging with this one. I see dead people. Edward Scissorhands. Pure dark whimsy and pure Tim Burton. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Pulp Fiction they furnished off an apartment with a two -room robot thing. As phenomenal as Quentin Tarantino's debut film Reservoir Dogs was, he delivered what many consider to be his magnum opus with his sophomore movie. Told out of chronological order and following a group of interrelated criminals through several violent and unpredictable events, the film is anything but traditional, and started plenty of trends of its own. Featuring an all-star ensemble cast and Tarantino's signature naturalistic yet insanely quotable dialogue, Pulp Fiction has a little something for everyone. Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like! What? Say what again! Say what again! I dare you! I double dare you! There's romance, suspense, action, comedy, and mystery. It's the choice bits of cinema thrown into a blender to make a delicious smoothie of a movie and the greatest 90s film of them all. The truth is, you're the weak, and I am the tyranny of evil men. Look, I know we're missing many movies from this list, some of my favorites even, but we're trying to give you the top 20 movies released in the 90s that are generally accepted as best. So let's just be happy that Jurassic Park made it, okay? Anyway, let us know in the comments, as I know you want to, which movies we are missing and which ones you're most happy did make the list. Or tell me on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayton or on my YouTube channel. See ya.